in the streets of Boston. It's beautiful, so let's go inside and check out the show. Jose, you want me to follow you up there? Yeah. Still in shape, basically. There's only a few of them. It's actually easier to judge than the open. Is this your future, Jose? I hope not. For me? Um, no. Not, not exciting enough. And 113 change. Yeah, it actually looks really freaky in that. Right? Hey, yeah. let's take this. You, you actually look kind of big. Take this off for me. This way I can get him in. That was the workout of the day for me. Other than my cardio this morning, that's all I got to do. met Jose through his older brother Tito who was my age and Tito and I used to compete together and I kind of knew about Jose as his you know the little brother who was trying to follow in his big brother's footsteps and at the time Tito especially in the 90s Tito was pretty pretty big deal he was on a lot of magazine covers so you know I never really expected Jose to blow up and become a bigger celebrity in this fitness industry than, uh, than his brother did but Eventually, I got to know Jose. He did some uh, some shows that I was at, and I, I really got to know him better uh, a few years ago. Started working out together here and there, and uh, I got to know him. And he's just uh, he's one of the most humble, real, down to earth guys you'll ever meet. He's got an incredible sense of humor, as anybody that's had any interaction with him will tell you. Uh, physique speaks for itself. He's built like a tank. He's all about blue collar hard work. He's uh, just an overall cool guy to know. Yeah, the, the thing I, I think a lot of people know the story, but it's, it bears repeating because you know, a lot of guys, they're so desperate to turn pro and they just want that pro card. And he earned his pro card four different times and he wouldn't accept it until he felt he had a legitimate shot to make an impact as a pro bodybuilder. 
And until they had the lighter weight division come out, that really wasn't within the realm of possibility. He's an amazing bodybuilder, but at 5'3 and competing around 190 at that time, when he had just turned pro, actually turned pro at 176, he just would have been lost up against these 250, 270 pound guys. And um, you know, the division was 212, 20, it was 202 and now it's 212. The division was really tailor-made for someone like that. Someone who might be smaller in stature, but you know, pound for pound, he's, he's got as much muscle as Jay Cutler or any of these guys. Let's go. We need a picture right here. Jiggle, jiggle. Right, I don't even do these things anymore. Hold on a second. Get those pants he down. Said, he said, hold on a second. Oh, shit. Right. That's doing nothing. Let's, Let's get the nothing. picture. Look at those things. That is small. Small, yeah. Small. Look at those things. He hasn't trained legs. It's like men's beak. Yeah, I haven't done legs in uh, 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> it shows. It's like the fucking big. Uh, Damn, you'd be able to walk these days if you're still doing People those say bodybuilding is not genetic. <laughs> Flex just started training calves. Yeah, Flex is calves. I just went to just get mosquitoes to bite him. I got I, I need to fight get those mosquitoes. I got 20 mosquito bites here. Turn yeah. around. Yeah. Oh, seriously, no. Turn around and do this. One. That's it. Look at that. That looks, that looks wow. painful. So, no, no, I got 16 actually. 16 year and 4 year the mosquito bites. Just it. Uh, yeah. Oh, that thing. It's small. Keep working on it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. Looks pretty good. That's good. That's good. From Moroccan. If you were from Wales, it would be much better. Yeah. For the hills. Yeah. For a tall Moroccan. Which body part are you going to do? Yeah. Me? <laughs> Schmeckle. Nice. Get her the pickle. 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 He's like, nah, oh, man, I got steak and cheese and bagels. I got some good food. Yeah. Yeah. What do you eat then? Uh, Pizza, and ruffy, bison, chicken. Look at this shit. What is going on here? It's warm. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what, what is going on here? It's sexy. Um, hey. Is it? Ah. You see all that? This is for my. Um, my gay affiliates, they all like me, the, the bears, they're like, dude, I get messages on Facebook, do you, do you have any grizzly bear photos? I'm like, no, whenever I'm in shape, I tend to shave it, but just re recently I've been lazy, and this is for, uh, this is for you, muscle hunts. There's nothing on your abs, though. Oh, there is. Good. Morocco. <laughs> Good, my friend. Good. I was 29. Good job. I just trained there, 29. All right, I'll do mine too. Oh yeah, let's see it. Come oh, on, kid. See the schmetter. Schmetter. Damn. Get closer. Get closer. Calm down. Calm down. Look at those things. There you go. Help me on that stage. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. First, you pull your calves up next to flex. <laughs> now you're gonna try this. Pretty good. Yeah. Are we in a contest here? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, right? Uh, Come on. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Titans coming in the back here, Jose? Nothing. Yeah, well, I see him. I've seen the movement there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Lift it, your t shirt up a little. You have a more morning. You see it in the morning. In the morning when I'm dry, it is. Yeah. They're coming. I see when you moved. No muscle fibers twitching. Yeah, oh yeah. I see it when you moved. From the side. You twitch it from the side? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Can you flick your ass? No, like, like Henry does? <laughs> does he really? Yeah. Henry makes it wave. Yeah. So He'll do this so side chest crazy. and it waves like. Does it really? Yeah. 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 Right. It's crazy. <laughs> If, we, if I started doing that now, Henry would be like, oh, I, 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 I,
Yeah. Like you can do it? Yeah, you just said it. You just said you can do it. You can do it like that? No, I got the side. Like really? Oh yeah, yeah. Just flick your Yeah. This is not a one. What do you what do you call it? That's flicking your ass? That's not easy to do. It rolls. Like a wave. What's his name does it? Marcus Hanley does it. Henry does it. It's just your ass. Yeah. Just twitch it. You what? Twitch it. Yeah. Twitch your ass. Twitch your ass. What is it? Ars. 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 How's my sound? Good? Perfect. All right, yeah, four timers. So it'll be Jay Cutler here at the Jay Cutler Classic in 2013. And of course, uh, you know, we're here, of course, doing a video for Jose Raymond. He's a good friend of mine. I got the opportunity to train with Jose. Followed him for years, of course, from, from Massachusetts. Uh, good friends, you know. Uh, He's had uh, quite a track record, of course, competing in NBC and, of course, now in the IFBB. Pretty much dominating the 212 division, you know, started as a 202 guy. Uh, you know, this guy competed, I think, all the way down from a band weight all the way up, so uh, he's put on a lot of size over the years, and uh, he's one of the stronger guys I've actually trained with, and uh, I look forward to coming out every year to, uh, to Massachusetts to actually catch up to him. Uh, I don't get to see him that much at the shows. Of course, I see his brother Tito out in California a lot when I train out in Venice, the old gym. But, uh, you know, he represents Massachusetts. I mean, they call him the Boston Mass for a reason. And, uh, you know, he's always at my shows and supporting. He's guest posed here a few times. And, uh, you know, I usually have him on the judging panel just for his expertise in that. And, of course, his, his uh, training ability for all a lot of the athletes that are in the show. He helps out. And uh, he's a great influence for bodybuilding. And, uh, you know, we're proud to have him. So I want to wish him the best of luck with the, with the video. And, of course, uh, all his fans out there that continue to support him and you know I know he's gone in for a couple of big shows this is here trying to still bring home that Olympia title at the end of the year so we'll be back on stage you know I see him backstage at the Olympia uh, since they have the finals together with the Mr. Olympia and the, and the 212 uh, Olympia division so it'll be cool to see him knock it out and you know, keep uh, keep pushing those weights and uh, wish him a healthy season. Do you think the 212s were tailor made for people like him? Uh, yeah 212s I mean Jose is a compact bodybuilder I mean he's, he's got a lot of beef. I mean, there's guys with shape and whatever else, but this guy, I mean, he's another one that he drops down to that weight, and then I think he really competes a lot bigger than 212 because he carries a lot of mass, he trains really heavy, and uh, he's super, super thick. I mean, that's how he wins. You know, Jose is not one of these aesthetic guys where I think that's where he won early in his career. He's more of a, of a power bodybuilder where he out-muscles guys and out-conditions guys, and I think that's his key, so I think he's continuing to, uh, to, to showcase that. And of course, uh, you know, continue to dominate that division. I mean, I hope he gets it. I thought last year was the year. Uh, hopefully 2013 brings him uh, the expectations that I have also. When I train. Leggings? Yeah, my ass and legs are too big to wear normal pants. So this is the house I grew up in. This is, uh, this was the dining room. This is a little living room. Because we didn't have heat. So all this, this heat, <laughs> yeah. there was no heat upstairs. You didn't live there, I did. See that hole right there? That's what heated the upstairs. This thing would have to get red hot for any heat up at all to go upstairs. And my brother Michael slept in there, so he was crispy. The rest of us had icicles hanging from our bowls. The heat went up the stairs. This was me when I was uh, gay for a little while. I went through a gay scene and... And was wearing, uh, I'm just kidding, I was never gay. But uh, I was wearing gay shorts. That was a good friend of mine, Rick Schaff, shot that on Venice Beach. I was about 155 pounds there. That was a few weeks after I won the Nationals in 01. God, I was. <laughs> This you're gonna love. Oh my this god. This is me at 16 years old. When you sit, look at look his forehead. That's my senior picture when I was 16 years old. Yes, I was a senior in high school at 16 years old. This is a cute little kitchen. This is where lots and lots of beer was consumed throughout my time. <laughs> we had lots of parties. This little kitchen would have about 50 high school kids or college kids in it at one time. We would party like rock stars. Oh. You have to see this. This room looks like something that would be in a dollhouse 
or um, for just miniature people, which I guess I was a miniature storage. person. Don't worry, it's storage now. But when you see this room, you'll oh, understand yeah. why I'm so short. They stunted my growth by yeah. putting me in a little Listen room. Listen to him, I was meant right. to be six Jeez. feet tall. Just be careful going up the stairs. Yeah. All right. Anybody that comes to Oh, there's no light. Don't Look at this. I'm 5'3", and my head is hitting this thing. Okay? That so, wasn't your bedroom. That was Pammy's bedroom. Mom, this is the bedroom you made for me. It's the first bedroom I ever had in my life. Where's the light? You've got to see this. You're gonna... I don't even know if there's one in here. Give me a flashlight. Give you a flashlight. This is hilarious. It opens like this. It's just paneling. And then there's little He's shelves in there. He's taping put... all this, is he? Mom. What? This is reality. People want to know. When I lived and grew up in the ghettos of Wakefield. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so basically you just see this. You can't see shit, I'm sure. But there's that little bed. There's probably some animals in here or something. But paneling. And this was my life. Okay. There was five of us. So you count one, two, three, four bedrooms. Okay. So one of us. Yeah, look at this bed. This is a nice one. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. I had this one when I was a senior in high school too. What they did was they bought me a water bed, so I would actually have warmth in the in the winter. So we would crank the heat in the water bed up to you know ninety degrees and. I wouldn't freeze to death, I'd be high, yeah. hypothermic. <laughs> but this is how it is, you know? And this is the old school house I grew up in. And my mom is still here, loving every minute of it. Yeah. Yeah. But that room is, the, that's the main room I wanted to see you to see because, well, these strange people that have been walking around in this <laughs> video here, you know, they're two white people and I'm brown, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? But these, this is Jerry Raymond and Roger Raymond. This is where the name Raymond comes from. I was actually born Sotomayor, Puerto Rican, 100% wow. Puerto Rican. Jose was only six weeks when I got him. Yeah, imagine that, how adorable. I had a big afro and uh, muscles. And this, so this is something I want them to, uh, what was my nickname as a child? Bear. There we go. Because I had paws on me. You looked like a grizzly bear. Yeah, from from day one. Mm -hmm. So people are like, oh, Jose, Jose's hands are from growth hormone and all this stuff. I was a beast even at, at, as a baby. baby. Even, yeah. you know, from day one, I was always a big kid and uh, a little um, overly exuberant. This is um, more than just a training DVD. This is a documentary kind of of who I am. All my fans and people have seen me train a million times online, but they've never seen this side of me. So right. you don't want me to tell them all the bad things that you've done? Uh, you know, you can tell whatever you like. <laughs> I have plenty of, of stories. Um, <laughs> but we can go back and forth if you like. Uh, no, never mind. My, yeah. my dad, uh, yeah. As a child, I had a... I'll tell one story. As a child, I had a um, an affinity for sleeping... <laughs> On the floor. Come on. Next to people. I won't finish this story, but uh, <laughs> I used to sleep at my brother Tito's bedside always until he found these like enough's enough. I used to talk all night. You slept on my side. You're skipping that yeah. one. Yeah. I slept. Uh, I would always crawl over and sleep on the floor next to them as well. Let's just say my father um, forgot I was there one night. <laughs> oh. We'll end it with that. Um... But anyway. I forgot about that one. Yeah, I'll never yeah. forget that. So, we have many stories, memory, many memories, great stories in this house. Yeah. And I thought it was important for um, my parents to, to be seen in this video. He used to love to play with his toys in the bathtub. It was hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll shut up. Still do, baby. You put your little what's it and put it through the hole in the tree? Right? Isn't this fabulous? This is the one story she remembers out of all the wonderful things I've done. Now, what was it again?
<laughs> yeah, exactly. The what set she called it. Gilligan's Island. Yeah, I had a Gilligan's Island set that I was... Had a tree had with a, a knot hole in it. And he used to put it over him and stick his what's it out the knot hole. Really? How about when he showed his what's it to the teachers and kids in school when he had his circumcision? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got circumcised at nine years old. You remember that? I yeah. forgot that. Yeah, that was fabulous. So, um... This is a lot of fun, right here. Um, like I said, I grew up in the ghetto of Wakefield, and this is what we're seeing. So, um, on that note, if we have nothing else to uh, cover here, um, thanks for being here, and thanks for being in it. And uh, I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of you too. Well done. Hey. What? Yeah. Do you recognize Tito? Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another one of Tito. Oh, yeah. Tito and Amy right there. Yeah. Yeah, that was the kind of stuff he could do. He would one little twist and it would be a cover shot. Okay. What Sunday? Yeah. This Sunday? Yeah. Mother's Day. Uh-huh. Right. You know how many mothers I know? I gotta get out there and, you know? <laughs> Yeah, she's made a living of that. We could have called the DSS 900 times for her little slappy do's. This is true. But luckily, I was a little animal, and I would just hit her back. And she'd be crying and going, no, you hit me, you're getting hit back. Take that as a lesson, He's so women. so full of bull. Ladies, mothers, you hit, you get hit back. Fair is fair. No, that's a joke. I don't really beat women. But when I do, I do it right. <laughs> all right, we gotta go. Time to go. We've seen all the close-ups. Are there any other ones? I think there's one of me and Tito. Oh, Jerry there is. Springer. This is me. Jose. I know, mother, but I can do one at a time. You're gonna do one at a time. This is when I was in the AC Slater, Saved by the Bell look. Okay, mom, stop talking, and um. I was approximately 11 or 12 years old there. Yeah, 7th grade, I think, 6th grade. But, uh, yeah, Tito was like 14, 15. Was that picture was taken for? What, it was taken for? Yeah. For you guys. For me. Father's for, Day. For Father's Day, yeah. What a good-looking group, huh? Jesus, Pammy <laughs> thought she was Madonna or something there. She was more like Medusa. <laughs> Holy shit. That's crazy. All right. Oh yeah, two beefcakes in the on Venice Beach. That's a great shot. I love that picture. Me and Tito. Tito was about that was like nineteen ninety eight. I got one like that, but your face. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't even have this picture. So uh it's good stuff. Well if me and my Leotard needs to go home and eat, get some rest and do this all over again tomorrow. So say goodbye to mom and dad. <coughs> don't say anything else but bye and thank you. Bye. All right, pop. See ya. All right, thank you guys. <laughs> Love you. Bye-bye.